Hello, welcome back to the Mark Chenard Show, the tech show about hacking. In this video, I'm going to cover which cloud platform you should choose in 2023. We have AWS on this side, we have Azure on this side. So who's going to win the battle? Who's going to win the battle? So let's get right into it. Aggressive expansions, AWS versus Azure, which is better. Azure and AWS are both well-respected members of the cloud domain. Uh, they fight for a larger piece of the cloud pie and take the world by storm while doing so. Azure holds about 29.4% of all installed application workloads, while AWS stands at 41.5%, and Google holds just 3% of all installed application workloads. In 2017, AWS market share featured at 47.1%, with Q4 revenue of $3.66 billion, while Azure's market share didn't rise above 10% with a revenue of $6.9 billion. Of course, Microsoft re revenues figures are higher because their cloud division includes both Azure and Office 365. So, AWS, so now we're going to AWS versus Azure in the certification game. Uh, when it comes to the differences between AWS versus Azure, there are plenty. Both come with their own dis um, both come with their own advantages, advantages and disadvantages. AWS and Azure are the uh, two top players in the cloud technology space because both are very good at what they provide in different ways. In order to narrow down which platform is the right one to become certified in, an evaluation of the benefits of each certification is warranted. Here are the benefits of AWS certification. Although Azure is rapidly gaining market share, AWS is still by far the largest cloud computing service provider in the world today. AWS certification carries extra weight because of the additional marketability due to the number of companies utilizing the platform. In addition, AWS certification grants access to the AWS certified LinkedIn community and other AWS certified professionals. There are several AWS certifications for developers and professionals to choose from, including AWS SysOps Associate, AWS Developer Associate, GCP Certification, and Cloud Architect Certifications. Wow. Uh, the benefits of Azure Certification. We're done with AWS, the benefits of, of AWS Certification. And Azure, and Azure certification is backed by the Microsoft brand, giving the added benefit to candidates familiar with the in-house data platforms. Azure is used by over 55% of all Fortune 500 companies, and gaining Azure certification increases the possibility of candidates uh, finding a job in one of these companies. In addition, about 365,000 new companies adopt Azure every year. That's a lot. Regularly increasing the need for Azure certified professionals. S uh, several Azure certifications are available to choose from, including including uh, Cloud Solution Architect, Developing Microsoft Azure Solutions, Architect uh, Microsoft Azure, Implementing Microsoft Azure, and Cloud Architect. Both AWS and Azure are considered to be adaptable, reliable, and resolute. Much like the superheroes we all admire. <laughs> they help us solve global problems and make our lives easy. They, adapted, uh, they adapt to the needs of their customers and lend a hand to governments and companies in solving various social and logistical issues. Sure, superheroes have helped their citizens and kept them safe, but cloud service providers like AWS and Azure have helped professionals revolutionize their industries without having to break the bank. Cloud systems have made it possible for companies like Uber, Salesforce, and Facebook to exist. All services we take for granted today. Did I stutter? However, in its recent Q1, of uh, 2018 earnings report, Microsoft revenue from Azure grew over 90% this year, doubling the growth rate of AWS. Comparison of AWS and Azure. So now we're going to talk about the pricing. It, Azure and AWS cater service and pricing based on requirements. However, AWS is rated on hourly basis and Azure on a minute basis. Azure offers highly flexibility in short-term subscriptions uh, and then compute 
and computation services. With so much data being generated these days, there is always a demand for speedier processing methods. Compute services ensure that instances can be spawned in minutes and scaled up insta instantaneously if necessary. Both AWS and Azure deliver services to meet these requirements. Uh, so developmental tools, AWS includes two serverless tools, AWS Fargate and Lambda. Azure Function is a serverless platform that when combined with Azure DevOps pipelines, allows you to streamline and manage complicated workflows. Azure Bot Service, uh, Time, uh, Series Insights, IoT Edge, Streamline, uh, Stream Analytics, and more IoT and AI capabilities are available. So when it comes to storage services, long lasting and reliable storage uh, services are offered by both AWS and Azure. Moreover, Azure caters to storage services such as blob storage, disk so storage, and standard archive, whereas AWS caters to services such as AWS S3, EBS, and Glacier. Uh, so database services, nowadays data is created in a variety of formats, therefore a database uh, that stored data must remain updated. AWS and Azure offer different database services to manage both structured and unstructured data. Azure uh, has Azure SQL Server Database and AWS has Amazon RDS. Uh, when it comes to networking services, the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud, also known as VPC, makes it possible to build private networks within the cloud. Similar to VPC, Microsoft Azure Virtual Network enables uh, you to do all of VPC's functions. Both clouds offer firewall options as well as options to expand the on-premise data center into the cloud. When it comes to container and orchestration support, AWS offers big data and analytics solutions that are more advanced. Depending on requirements, it can offer a wide range of services in the areas of IoT, mobile app development, or building a computing environment. They also provide Docker support. Microsoft competes in this space and may go a step further by providing Hadoop support through services such as Azure HD Insight. In regards to compliance, Amazon has excellent relationships with government agencies, resulting in enhanced government cloud offerings. They also give excellent security features to ensure that individual users have proper access. Microsoft provides over 50 compatible products. Security features. AWS caters a brilliant job of selecting secure alternatives and default settings uh, to provide enhanced privacy. Azure relies on Microsoft's Cloud Defender service um, for security and data privacy, which is powered by artificial intelligence. Oh, that word is probably going to be the word of 2023 and safeguards against new and existing threats. So lastly, machine learning, AWS and Azure both feature machine lear learning studios for developing machine learning models. Unlike Amazon's SageMaker, Azure Studio does not necessi necessitate uh, a thorough understanding of data engineering, Python coding, and open source libraries. So some of the key differences between AWS and Azure, customers of AWS EC2 can configure their VMs or pre-configure images, whereas Azure users must select a virtual hard disk to construct a VM that has been pre-configured by a third party. Uh, AWS provides temporary storage that is assigned when an instance is launched and destroyed when it is terminated. In contrast, Azure provides temporary storage via block storage with page blobs for VMs and block blobs for uh, object storage. Azure accepts hybrid cloud systems. However, AWS does not accept private or third-party cloud providers. So that was uh, the key differences between AWS and Azure. What do you think? I want to know your opinion. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. I love you. Stay safe. See you on the next video.